you may remember in our last video, we demonstrated a vintage gaming system on this old Admiral TV. Well, this is a, just a quick follow-up to talk about something kind of cool about this TV called Instant Play. I don't know how old this TV is, but it's probably late 60s, early 70s. What is Instant Play? Well, it is just exactly you just what... You turn on the TV, it's on. Yes, it's just Without exactly... Without booting up anything. It's exactly what the name sounds like. Why, why do we even need a feature like that? Well, it's alien to us today, but back in the 50s and 60s, we had these giant vacuum tubes, which were eventually replaced by transistors. But with vacuum tubes, you have to wait for them to warm up. And so the solution for instant play was simply to leave some tubes on all the time so they were hot and ready. So here's an example of how long it takes just to turn the TV on, just plugging the power outlet into the wall. You have to wait for all the tubes to warm up and before you can see a picture and hear sound. As you can see, that took about 24 seconds, sort of a cold start. Anyway, once it started up, of course, you can you know, tune it I'll tune to a picture. Some classic Hendrix there. All right, so that's a cold start. Let's see how long the same thing takes with the instant play feature. And just like the name says, it's instant. It's not even worth timing. It takes about a second for it to turn on. So you can turn this TV off, walk away, come back later, and boom. You're ready to go. So how this works basically, if you uh, look at it, so after we turn it off, if you look inside the TV, you can clearly see some tubes are alive and kicking there. Not sure what that does to the wear and tear of the TV. But look at this, it's even faster than a modern flat panel. Here, I'll turn both these on at the same time, and the instant play is instant, whereas the flat panel takes a second or two to sync up. I did see instant play offered as early as 1967. The ad that looks closest to my model here is this one from 71. The only other notable feature is the sun shield. Uh, I am not, could probably date this looking inside of it, but I'm not gonna open it up because that'd probably be kind of dangerous. But anyway, not much else to say about this TV. Instant play does come with a cost, however. As you can see here on this watt meter, it's sitting there just consuming 32 watts, just sitting still when I power it up. It jumps up quite a bit to 94, 96 watts. And then of course goes back down to 32, which is quite a bit when you compare to the LCD television. The LCD consumes less than the standby power. It's running at 27 watts. Then when you turn it off, it gradually lowers down until it measures zero watts on this meter. So I guess it's maybe less than one watt. Anyway, that's about all we have to say about instant play today. I think it's interesting that this thing still powers up you know, faster than a flat panel. However, I'd rather have a flat panel. I'm really curious if anybody has a comment about whether this was a widely used technique in the tube era. But that about wraps it up for today. See you next time for another awesome video. Bye-bye.